Hi, I'm News 116. Stacey Lang back with another case of interest Coburger update. We don't have a lot to talk about today, but we do have some significant updates. Coburger was in Latah County Court yesterday, February 28th, for a hearing. The prosecution and his defense team all there to discuss a number of issues. And while no real decisions were made, we do have at least a clearer answer of the big question that everybody wants the answer to. When will the Koberger trial begin? We now know that's likely not happening until almost exactly a year from now. The tentative date that was set during this hearing yesterday was March 3rd of 2025, but there are indications that it could even be later than that. There were a number of things discussed. One of those is whether or not Koberger can allow some expert witnesses to look at the investigative genetic genealogy data that was used by the prosecution, by the police in Moscow, to zero in as Koberger as a suspect. The defense wants an opportunity to have some DNA experts look over that information that was sealed by the judge months ago because of the sensitive data uh, that, that could expose people who have nothing to do with the case just based off of their genetic ties to Koberger. So that was discussed. The judge didn't make a decision, but he, we can expect a decision perhaps in the coming weeks on that. And then they went back and forth for quite a bit about scheduling this trial. And one of the big issues is the defense request to change the venue of the trial. That's just a request at this point. Ann Taylor, the public defender, still has an obligation to lay out a formal argument as to why she wants that done. We now know that's going to happen later in March. But both sides kind of gave preliminary arguments for and against the Latah County prosecutor against moving it to another county and the defense team for moving it to another county. They laid out some the basic crux of their arguments uh, in that hearing today. Let's take a listen. There has to be a showing that that publicity or whatever has impacted the juror to the point where that juror cannot sit in this box as a fair and impartial juror and make a decision based only on the evidence presented in this courtroom. That's the issue that your honor is going to have to decide on the change of venue question. And you can't do that based on a bunch of affidavits from experts who say, judge, there's been a lot of publicity. There are other considerations besides just the massive amount of media and an impact on potential jurors. That's what we're going to talk about. I, I think it's timely. I think it's appropriate to set a change of venue motion. I think it is what makes the most sense for the court to make that determination and set a trial date from there. Now, Ann Taylor still has to make her formal argument in a document filed to the court that the judge will consider. We now know at a hearing set for March 14th, but we are, have early indications that the judge is not leaning towards moving it to another county. He said in the hearing yesterday that that's not something he wants to do. Uh, so tentatively looking at a trial for March 3rd of 2025 in Latah County, unless Ann Taylor is successful in her change of venue request. We will stay tuned. We'll be following it all with more episodes of Case of Interest Coburger.